Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Diablo Immortal. Today's video, we're going to be focusing on the Blustered Six set. This allows you to blow your enemies away, knocking them up, carrying them across the freaking room. Watch this very closely. I'll show you exactly what happens. Big tornado coming in. Oh, picks up the big wing barbarian, carries him across the screen and stuns him for two seconds. I love the Blustered Six set, guys. I really, really enjoy it. I think it's fun. <laughs> I think it's funny. And I like using it a lot. Now, in order to make your Blustered Six set work, you're going to have to put in two pieces of Windloft onto your set items. So the way to do it, for example, if you're a Demon Hunter, uh, you can go for four-piece Vithus and two-piece Windloft. If you're a Barbarian, I am actually using two-piece Vithus, two-piece Windloft, and two-piece Gloom. However, if you don't charge, if you're a non-charging Barbarian, if you're like a four-wind Barbarian, you can go for two-piece Vithus, two-piece Banquet, and uh, two-piece uh, Windloft. Now, if your other classes just replace two pieces that are the least important and replace it with two-piece Windloft. Two-piece Windloft will give you an extra 15% uh, speed bonus whenever you are out of combat for two seconds. All right, so two seconds isn't a very long time. You just back off for two seconds. You get 15% speed buff. It'll help you get back into battle. It will help you when you are farming. I mean, it's it's my for 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 my farm build. You will want two piece uh, Windloft, two piece Ishtar, right? Ishtar. This is this is a two piece Windloft into your set is not bad. I I really really like it. I'm going to continue to use it, continue to test it, but it is turning out to be really really good. All right, so here is my epic battle with Bixo. Uh, there's a lot of lag. And uh, apparently he's not where I think he is. There's a lot of lag going on, so I don't really know where he is. I just kind of chase and let them kill themselves by burning to death. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get to the battle. Have to escort the zealots, uh, the zealous idols, all the way to the sides. And yes, uh, this these tornadoes from the blustered set do come out every thirty seconds. There you go. You see that? The direction that the blustered set, the tornadoes go, is directly in front of you. Okay. So you have to adjust the way you play. If you like, I don't know, spinning around a lot, you can't do that anymore. You have to, most of the time, always face an enemy, okay? Because someone can punch you in your butt and, and it will trigger the tornado, okay? So oh, you have to try and face the enemy. All right, so if you're running away and an enemy hits you in the back, that tornado will shoot out from in front of you. And if they're behind you, that doesn't work. So you do want to try and face them. Like right now, I did something wrong. I was facing the wall while I bandaged. That's not what you're supposed to do. If you're gonna bandage, have your back to the wall and face the direction that the enemies will attack. So when your six set blustered is off cooldown, now the cooldown is 30 seconds, and the enemy attacks you from the front, they will get picked up just like that. S. Rogers got picked up. <laughs> just got picked up by that tornado. He punched me from in the face, and he will get hit by a tornado, get picked up, dragged, and oh yeah, yeah, they do get stone chipped, all right? So Barbarians, my build is sprint, uh, charge, 
Wrath of Berserker, and Undying Rage. Nothing in my arsenal stuns. Well, I also have Tremor set. So my Tremor set would actually stun and stone ship, but not my, not my regular skills. Now you have an extra blustered tornado stun set to trigger your ch uh, your chip of stone flesh. So yeah, this really makes me happy. Now I, you know, like I I like the torture set a lot, and I I still do, but it's not it's not a. It's not a real stun, it's just immobilize. And it doesn't proc the chip. And I love my chip of stone flesh. So I think I'll probably continue to play with this. Uh, I have tested some other sets and I'll make videos on Atrophied and other sets that I've tested. Those sets are coming. Oh, did I mention that this is not my main set in order to use this? I'm using some really bad wind loft, some really bad gear. So I'm about 300, 350 CR lower than normal. And still performing extremely well with the stun invocations, the stun curse set. Look at that. Pick them up. Okay. All right. Big so. You ran out of dashes. Now, what happened with Bixo? He used all his dashes. So right then, he uh, he wasn't able to get out because he used all his dashes. My oh my, I'm super, super into this new set, the Blustered 6 set. Now, you can try it with the 4 set. The 4 set's going to be considerably less effective because the Blustered 4 set is once every 50 seconds. Now this tornado with a six set will stun you for six uh, for two seconds. With the four set, the stun is only one second. So for this bluster set, the curse set to actually be super effective, you're definitely going to want to try and get the six set. So I really hope that you guys have good rolls with your purification shards and get that six set. And um, one, one tip that I would give you is, one tip is, well, you may want to not upgrade. I mean, you may get some CR, okay? You may get some extra CR gear. And unless it's a pretty big upgrade, don't roll the purification shards on it because... If it's just a small upgrade, maybe like 10, 15 CR, you're not going to have enough purification shards to flip to roll for the sixth set. So you're going to have to wait a little bit until you get a significant upgrade, maybe 30, 40, 50 CR upgrade before you use your purification shards, or you're not going to have enough shards. Thanks for watching and uh, comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.